It's called Resonantly Match With My Bra. Um, uh, it's um, in part, it's because of my boyfriend, a lot of boyfriends ago, um, said that you could hey, wait a minute, you could be this first stroke survivor of stand-up comedian. And I said, what? Um, first of all, you you have to have um, uh, you have to have a memory, first of all, and you have to uh, have good comic timing. So I have a speech impediment. So that's it goes. But um, so um, um, I um, um, yeah. You have to remember the wording of your jokes. And on my constant rephrase is, oh, what do you call that? What is the word? You know, the word for, you know, the cooking machine. It's about yay big. Oh, microwave, duh. Uh, somebody always strike says, another friend, Another time uh, I sent to a new friend, I have to get going to my book club meeting now. And the guy perks up and says, excuse me, did you say book club? <laughs> and to I, which I said, yes, I confess, I'm a foot fetishist. <laughs> Only I couldn't say fetishist because my speech impediment. <laughs> But, um, I, and, um, uh, there went the timing of the joke. <laughs> one time I shaved one leg and I forgot to shave the other one. So I'm walking around with one clean shaven mug and one hairy ape leg I, hiding underneath my pants, of course. Um, and so as far as me remembering jokes, Forget about that. <laughs> Third of all, I find it maddening to be one-handed. I know I have to see a the humor in it, but maybe I'll get there in time. But for now, my moves are like a roller coaster. When I go to put my bra on, for instance, it's like man against man, only it's man against lingerie. Um, I have to brace myself for getting the contraption on. Uh, it starts with, picture this, it starts with the cups facing forwards, no, facing backwards, hooks facing frontwards, fine. And then I start to getting the hooks, well, to hook up uh, with my thumb and fourth finger, hold on, doing somersaults. I don't ever get on, on the first try. I, one time, one side inevitably steps back with a loud, ha ha. I try again maybe five or six times, then I get mad. I grimace, I sweat. Sometimes I win the wrestling match. When I don't, I get madder and madder. Naturally, it always happens when I'm late for something, which is usually. When it reaches, say, 12 agonizingly elusive attempts, I curse at it. I talk to it. You better, you better Hook up, you fucker. <laughs> I turn into a mad woman, replete with a menacing scream. <laughs> when, uh, yeah, <laughs> watch out, neighbors. Um, me against the evil for, um, force, I'm trying to wrestle to the ground. I know it's ridiculous, but the, in, but the inanimate object gets the better of me. Uh, uh, when I finally get it on, patient fully tested, I have to tumble down to um, um, tumble 
them from fe feeling spitting angry. Ugh. After all, um, sigh. Sigh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I went. I'm sorry. One time I even spat in my bra, which only resulted in extreme ickiness afterwards, but really. Um, me against the evil force I'm trying to wrestle on. And when I finally get it on, patient so fully tested, I have to trouble it and down um, side. After all, I am the victor. Man against underwire, I think, is not the size of the bosom in the fight. It's the size of the fight in her bosom. <laughs>